This area seems to have been set up for humans. We're up top near that bizarre pentahedron watching what looks to be like some kind of a celebration. At least that's what Richard thinks it is. Get up here as soon as you can. You don't want to miss this. Anything so beautiful. Never. And we're alive because of you. We can't possibly thank you enough. Thanks, Ace. You were great. You were great, I guess. Though I can't imagine why it took you so long. Oh. So, you saved yourself a pride of octo spiders, 
a gaggle of avians, and several herds of biots, as well as a few human beings. Not bad, but a couple of hours' work. A wonderful creature, this avian, but certainly not smart enough to be a spacefarer all by itself. Its symbiotic colleague is actually much more intriguing. This bizarre centipede, like its other colleagues in the game, is a biological robot. Though it's made of living material, it's still a robot. But can machines really think? Somewhere out there, I'm certain, are machines whose intelligence far surpasses ours. Maybe a machine even built Rama in the first place. Hmm, now that's a fascinating idea. You see, it agrees with me. Maybe you figured that these octo spiders are also passengers on this mysterious spacecraft. They have no more idea where Ram is going than we do. The Octos have extended their influence through a vast region containing hundreds of stars. Yet Rama hasn't yielded up its secrets, even to them. Where did you come from, Rama? Why are you here? And where are you going? This huge spacecraft is now hurtling out of the solar system at cosmic speed. Its destination, like its origin, utterly unknown. On board are several human beings, as well as biots, avians, and a host of other fascinating creatures. In the not too distant future, you'll have another chance of visiting Rama to see proof of my third law any advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So join us again for a second Rama adventure somewhere out there among the stars.